talking about secret areas that were deleted from Prodigy, so be sure to watch until the end and let's get into the video. Christopher Ryan Philippelli. 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 Prodigy has deleted so, uh, quite a few things in the past. I've done videos on secret bosses that were deleted, secret wardens that were deleted, a secret element that was even deleted. And now today I'm going to be talking about secret areas that were deleted on Prodigy. So this is not only just like islands in general, but it's also like little parts of an island. First, we're going to start off with this. This is called Lamplight Dock. This was in Prodigy a long, long time ago. I believe it was like 2014 it was in here. So that is pretty insane and pretty long ago. I believe it was around the time and it was when you first entered Prodigy through the tutorial, you came on this ship and you landed at Lamplight Dock. So that is pretty cool. That is picture number one, and as you can see on the top, it says Welcome Wizard. It kind of leads you into the town like a little, like it's like a little festival. Obviously now Lamplight Town is way more updated, but back then that is sort of the outskirts of what Lamplight Town actually looked like. The next picture I'm going to be showing you is something called the Lost Island. You may be more familiar about this one. This one was only deleted a few years ago. I think it was like two. I remember playing the day it was deleted and it got deleted. It came back a couple hours later for like 10 minutes and then it was deleted again. So the Lost Island was for, it didn't really have a purpose. It was just a battle. You did six battles a day. You got these pieces of wood and it was like a currency. However, you couldn't use the pieces of wood at all as Swoopy, the warden at the time, uh, who was now the warden of Tower Town, Swoopy would be like the person to guide you and tell you what, it, what your battles are today and where to go for them. However, you would not be able to trade in the wood. So on my uh, Christopher Knight Leader account, before it got hacked and everything, I ended up having over 200 pieces of wood from the Lost Island. And then it, uh, after it got deleted, the wood was used for nothing. So it kind of stinks. This is a map of the Lost Island. It is pretty cool. As you can see, there's quite a few areas. There's about seven different like little areas in the Lost Island that you can go. I remember pretty much all of these. I remember playing on them all the time. The monsters there were pretty hard to beat. They weren't like the easiest, but it was still a lot of fun personally. However, now I know why they deleted it because you know, it's just not, it didn't really serve for a purpose in the Prodigy world. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you is Clockwork Town. This is another one you guys are probably more familiar with as it was only deleted about four years ago. Number one and number two, since Old Prodigy has been brought back last year and it's now not brought back anymore, but this is a version of Old Prodigy that I have and uh, I was able to play for Clockwork Town on it for you guys in this video. Anyway, this is a little footage of me playing in Clockwork Town. Right now it's just uh, my character and it's as you can see, it's going to Clockwork Town through the map. As you can see, Clockwork Town inside kind of looks like this big robotic place with a robot as like the warden, I guess you could say, the quote warden. And then you'd also have the dance studio over there, which is now moved to Lamplight Town. And then when I go into battle, it's just kind of like robotic monsters I'm battling because Clockwork Town is sort of like gears and robots and all that stuff. So that is pretty cool. It also has the merchant there and everything. And it you, you competed in the Robo Olympics, which is kind of like a mini quest sort of, but it didn't, again, really serve a purpose throughout the Prodigy world. The wizard nickname uh, it actually originated from there. Robo Master originated from there. And all the other wizard names that are pretty much impossible to get nowadays originated from that place. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you are the Epic's very own part of the epic subspace. So as you know, in epic subspace today, uh, you, uh, when you get your, an epic, uh, just say you buy an older epic and you get a code. You enter that code and you are able to play with an epic. For example, big hex. If you get a big hex, if you buy a big hex with the code, you put the code in your account and you're able to play with them in the game. Now, what if I told you that instead of just clicking on the icon, where you just randomly go into this battle arena, there used to be something it teleport you to. We're gonna start off with number one, Flora Fox. Flora Fox has something called Flora Fox's Grove, and here's a picture of it. By the way, this is from Pro Video's video, so shout out to him. And as you can see, look how cool this really is. So instead of just going into this battle, it just teleports you to this 
area where you can start the battle. So it kind of was an area that wasn't really needed in Prodigy, but it was still super cool that the epic subspace kind of had mini subspaces just for the epics. So I think that's why it's called epic subspace, because you go to this epic space, and then you click on each epic, it's like a part of the space, which is a subspace. So I think that's why it originally is called Epic Subspace, and Prodigy never deleted it that way. The next one is going to be Arcturus. As you know, uh, the next one I, I would say in the list is Arcturus. And as you can see, this is a picture of it. This is Arcturus's lair. This is from Miku Prodigy's video. Shout out to him. Arcturus's lair is pretty cool. It's full of ice. He actually didn't have the epic at the time, so he wasn't able to battle with it. That's why Arcturus is standing there right in the middle. However, it was pretty cool to see this. Even though we're not really looking if he had it or not, or the actual battle arena, we're just looking at the area. The area is all ice and everything. I really like how Prodigy made these for each epic at the time. I really wish they kept them, but I understand why they didn't. The next is something called Big Hex's Battleground. Big Hex's Battleground is really cool. As you can see, it's like all clouds and everything. This is also from Pro Video's video, and this is really, really cool. Uh, again, he did have the epic, so he was able to click on Matcha, and, or the Toy Merchant at the time is what it was called, not Matcha. Uh, so the Toy Merchant, he was able to click on it, and he was able to go into the epic arena for Big Hex. Again, a useless area just to stand around in. However, it would be super cool if Prodigy kept it because of just how cool it looks, even though it wasn't a useful area that Prodigy actually used. The next one is Magma Shift's Lava Pits. So this one is really cool. As you can see, it's all red and a lot of lava everywhere. Magma Shift is also insane. This is really, really cool. I really love how, you know, the whole thing just kind of matches and it, again you just clicked on their little circle in the epic subspace and it brought you to these areas so the, this is really really cool and finally we have Dibidio swimming hole which kind of looks like a tropical island in a way you have the palm trees you have the little puddles you have the little ponds and then you also have the grassy area so this is really cool because Dibidio I would have expected this to be an underwater kingdom sort of thing but instead they made it into some sort of tropical island it seemed to be in the middle of the sky which was awesome I really like that Prodigy did it that way and it kind of stinks obviously that Prodigy did delete these uh, areas but I can honestly understand why as a lot of them didn't really have a purpose to the goal of Prodigy and a lot of kids were I guess really playing there other than the epic stuff I understand why they deleted the epic stuff it's because you didn't really need to teleport to a place to click on something when you could just click on a dot and then go from there however the lost island and clockwork town clockwork town is actually the old version of the lost island so when prodigy deleted clockwork town they re they kind of rebooted it with lost island they deleted that and then they rebooted lost island with the tower town so it's kind of been kind of a cycle and now I think Tower Town's gonna get deleted soon, as I said in one of my uh, other videos, because that's not doing too well, nobody ever plays it, so are they gonna replace that with something else in the future, and hopefully that thing in the future, if they do replace it, will actually be good, and people will wanna play it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe for more amazing content just like this coming soon. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos about secrets on Prodigy that were deleted, because I really do like making these videos, and it's pretty interesting to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.